Two and a half gone by. And just a 2 nothing lead for the visitors here. Pitt looking to get on the board, on their home floor, off the basket and in. Their best, especially Xavier Johnson. Really gets in the lane, gets to the free throw line, puts pressure on the defense. And in their last time out at Louisville, they only shot six free throws for the entire game. And when they haven't gotten to the free throw line this year. Lost two in a row. Right before their break for finals, they went on a swing of Northern California and dropped games to St. Mary's and UC Davis as McGowan's leaps, banks, and hits. Gotta have your hands up. And low shot clock, you know where it's going. That time he gives it up. Shot clock at five, and the deep three goes down. Clock at six. Here's their leading scorer, German. Can hit it from downtown, and he has to launch one. And he buries it. Unwilling to pass the ball, he just... He draws so much attention that you have to pay so that you have to pay attention to him, and, and it leaves other guys open. And McGowan's the most emphatic play so far here. Under a minute to go, first half. Shot clock at seven here. This time drives, kicks. Scott had it blocked from behind. Terrell Brown, the leading shot blocker on Pitt, comes in. I know you broke down the tape from that one to give a, a yardstick as to how this one might play out. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't see a lot of film <laughs> from that game. But, uh... Cultural environment of sports. Everybody gets elevated. Right. Including the elevation of Lacey James for the dunk. One of the things head coach Jeff Papel stressed earlier today, the mental toughness of his team has to improve. McGowan's burying the triple there. Trey McGowan's not a great outside shooting team, Pittsburgh, this year, but Trey McGowan stepping into that one. Eugene German with five on the shot clock. Head to head with McGowan's, takes aim at the three, and he cans it. It's, it's again, like I said, with a younger team, especially. You know, if you've got an older team who knows that they got to rely on their defense, that's one thing. That's a very welcome sight right there for the people in this building. But uh, now you got to dig in and get some stops here if you're Pittsburgh. Hasn't shot it well in the year, but coming off the bench tonight has given his team a little bit of a boost from the three point line. But he's had two separate scoring droughts of over six minutes each. We're coming up on the final six minutes now. They trail by six. To shoot, Darius B. Playing with four personal fouls, the rebound to James underneath, had it blocked by Hamilton. Through. That ball went through yep. the basket. It's for their first lead since almost 10 minutes left to go in the first half. With bounce pass. And there it is. Justin Champagny. Use it here. Ankerson again, way off the mark from the corner three, and then the alley-oop for Justin Champagny. The night. Good job by Ryan Murphy of throwing it up and letting his guy finish, but a great catch and finish. And started with the defensive rebound on the other end. Northern Illinois got a good look in the corner, just wasn't able to convert. And a good give and go there on the break. You know, probably not ideal in that situation with time to score, but hey. While Pittsburgh goes on their biggest run late for a nine-point win here at the Peterson Event Center.